Hi everyone, this is a brief video to show you how to print your shipping labels in PayPal and how to properly configure your, your printer if you have a uh, Dymo label printer. So what you're going to want to do from wherever you are in PayPal, you're going to have this floating menu at the top. Um, so you're going to want to go to little gear icon, profile. So you want to click that and then click profile and settings. And then once you get there, you're going to want to click my selling tools. If it will let me click it. Hang on. Try it again. There we go. My selling tools. So from there, you are going to want to go down to shipping my items. So second to last here, you can click update. And then here, ship from your address, your shipping carrier. And right here, it says change printer type. So if you have a Dymo label writer 450, you're going to want to use the 330 tur turbo, which is the uh, 2.4 by 7.5 inch um, label. Even though you have a 450, they don't have it on the list, but it's compatible with that model. So. That's all you need to do there. So again, Dymo Label Writer 330 Turbo. It's the 2.4 by 7.5 is what you want. I'm going to hit cancel, but you're going to want to hit save if it wasn't in there. Um, and then as far as printing the label, you just go to invoicing. And I'm going to pull out one I already printed today that I can reprint. So um, if you were printing the label for the first time, you would want to go print shipping label. And then that'll take you here. And, uh, you know, you change your whatever first class, five ounces, calculate. And then it'll give you shipping cost. So if I were going to print the label, I'm not going to print another one. But if I were, I hit confirm and pay. Um, and then that will take me to the screen to print it. Instead, I'm going to show you also how to reprint a label. So that's how you print one. So let's say you've you printed the label and um, you know it didn't print for one reason or another. So you're going to want to hit view details like I did there. Go to reprint label. And then at the bottom of the screen, you click Reprint Label again. And it brings up this pop-up. And then from there, you should see your label in the correct format, in the correct size. And then you just want to select your label writer 450. So if you have, you know, if you had a different printer selected, it'll show it as if you were printing it on a, on a full page. If you don't have a label printer, um, you can select your printer, like this one I selected is a regular you know, letter size printer, and you wanna deselect fit to page. That way you can cut it out. And it's not gonna be this ginormous label. Um, but we're gonna go back to our label printer. So I'm gonna hit change, Dymo 450. And the paper size you're gonna want is 99019 large level arch that's the uh, 2.4 by 7.5 label there's nothing else you need to do there um, all the other settings should be correct this I'm doing this through Chrome if you use a different browser uh, it's going to operate pretty much the same way um, but Chrome has kind of its own built-in um, printing menu if you have see here where it says print using system dialog that's the built-in uh, Microsoft print system. You can, if your computer defaults that way, you would just do it the same way. Select your Dymo 450, and then you're good to go. Um, so then you're just gonna wanna go print. Go back to where I was here. Print, 99019, hit print, boom. You can hear it printing, and then you're good to go. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.